Today I'm getting a revision of rhinoplasty done. This is my second procedure. The first one was not done with Dr. Nassif. I waited for the swelling to go down. I waited the normal time, which I was told was two years in order for me to get a revision. With my first surgery, what I wanted to get done was pretty much remove the hump that I had, which was what they did. But aside from that, they did not fix the tip of my nose. And now that this, after the swelling went down and I waited for the time, I noticed that my sides were not angled equally. One of the sides was actually more elevated than the other one. When I met Carla, she already had one rhinoplasty in 2007. She was unhappy with her profile, the way it looked. She was unhappy with the fullness in her tip. And she also felt that the right side of her nose along the right nasal wall was wide. I actually did my research and I found out that he's done this for many years. I checked out his website and I read all the patient journals and testimonials. Aside from the fact that he's been Dr. 90210, I noticed that he's been on Oprah and Dr. Phil, all these shows. So that really gave me more of a confidence that I needed to say, yeah, this is the doctor. I mean, she is one of the most pleasant, sweetest patients I've ever had. And she goes, you know what, doctor, anything you can do to improve it is great, whether it's a little bit or a lot. I'm actually not nervous at all. I'm very, very excited. I've been wanting to do this for a very long time, so getting this procedure is actually something that I'm looking forward to, not something that I'm scared or nervous at all. About. And being that it's with Dr. Nassif, it gives me that confidence and secureness that everything's going to be fine. One thing I told her, I said, you know, your nose already sticks out a good amount. So from the profile, I told her that the, if the more I bring it out, project it, the better her tip will look. I pretty much feel that the, the surgery will help me have a better appearance, have a more feminine nose per se, because I feel like I, I'm missing that little Touch. I am a confident girl, but that would just help me a little more. The day of surgery, Carla is smiling as usual. She's not even that nervous. And so we spoke and we talked about our game plan was to try to make things symmetric, try to soften the tip, uh, try to do anything I can in regards to either deprojecting or projecting the nose, depending on how everything looks once I get inside. Once we were ready, we went in the operating room, and the initial procedure that I performed was the cartilage harvest from the septum, which she also had a deviated septum that I took care of. Following that, we did the open rhinoplasty, and I was able to discover what was happening. She had uh, the nasal bones and everything were sunken on the left in addition to the middle vault of the nose. So I'm pushing the nose back first to soften the entire hump or the profile of the nose, which will help make the nose look a little bit more sleek and more refined, and then build it out with her own cartilage. In this situation, uh, we used ear cartilage. And we really worked hard to try to make the nose nice and symmetric as possible. Carla. Today I saw Carla. Uh, she's doing well. She's still healing. How are you? Today I'm here for my follow-up with Dr. Nassif. I just got a few injections. That's why my nose is still a little red. I am extremely happy with the results I've gotten with my procedure. I couldn't express really the gratitude I have towards Dr. Nassif. She still has uh, up to two years to heal and I've been injecting her frequently with the 5 fluorouracil and Kenalog 5 in her nasal tip. She's improving, but it's taking a long time. Given Carla's scenario, her nose will take a full two years, but I will tell you, it's much more symmetric. The tip is more defined in its own manner with the thick skin, and her profile is fantastic. Dr. Nassif exceeded my expectations. I really thought I was just, you know, gonna get a revision and go on with my life, but it's actually helped me in many ways. Again, I wish there was more that I can do with the tip of the nose, but in her situation with the thick skin, it's hard to make it perfect. 
and I think as time goes on, she'll be more and more happy. And by the way, from day one when I met her to now, she is so happy all the time. What a wonderful spirit she has. She's great. I'm really grateful for Dr. Nassif. The feeling that I have towards him is actually of a sense of extreme gratitude. The surgery has changed my life in a way that now I'm happier with my appearance. I'm, I can take pictures freely. I don't have to be like trying to hide my, my profile or not focus on my nose and actually be happy with who I am.